Monday the 12th of February and uh, let's have a quick look at what we've got going on today. Uh, we've got nine orders on Bricklink. Um, not an amazing weekend at all. I did uh, send some out on Saturday. Uh, but again, uh, I think this is testament to um, really how lazy I've been in terms of uploading. Um, but anyway, we need to get that rectified. Um, we've got 234 lots in 1,600 uh, items. And then on Brick Owl, we've got eight orders going out. A uh, couple of them international. Uh, 61 lots, 489 items. And on eBay, uh, eBay also slowed down. Uh, for me, although I have heard other people saying that eBay sales have really slowed, um, so I don't know if that's just a, a, a bit of a theme. So um, we've got the first uh, batch of orders ready. I've got a couple that may have to go out later in the day. Let's have a quick look. Um, we've got a Lord Raz uh, going out on eBay. Uh, we've got an AIM agent. Uh, we've got a couple of really big um tires uh, going out still got a couple of those left uh some minifig parts uh lots of black uh bricks and uh, plates going out there and then more regular parts orders some technic stuff we've got these um hero factory uh bits and pieces going out um this is one of the orders going off to the us which is a couple of uh, basketballs and then some more, obviously, small orders there. Uh, this one was 60-something lots and about 60-something pound. Uh, probably the best uh, order value of the, the weekend. And then we've got lots of black and sand green. This one was actually the highest lot count, uh, about 90-something lots. Um, but obviously, still a smaller order than... Uh, uh, that one there, and then another small parts order there, and then over here, two more eBay orders, one for a hand solo celebration minifig, and a Minecraft Arctic Fox, and then a little uh, order for parts, and some uh, instruction booklets. Uh, still got three to do over there. Uh, one I've got a bit of a question mark on because someone's... Uh, telling me that they've had to change their address um but it doesn't match the paypal address and you know you just uh, need to be careful so i'm just double checking that one before we we pick uh, those will probably get done when i get back from the post office so i'm going to get this lot uh packed away ready for the post office and uh get back get them others picked and then we can start adding some more stuff and i did bring a box back from the container and i'll show you what's in there uh, a little later. So I mentioned earlier that I'd been over to the container and uh, picked up another box of uh, Lego to sort through. And uh, this is what I brought back. Um, I actually went over to bring a tub of, of bulk back to sort through. And uh, when I started looking through one, there were lots of things that were already sort of pre-bagged uh, and pre-sorted. So there are things uh, like these um, old, I call them sort of, I don't know what the, the, the real term is for them, but um, I refer to them as sort of arm connectors because they're, they're like the old original um, uh, figure arms that uh, predated minifigures, etc. So you'll see that there's bags of all sorts in here, um, you know, that I just thought since they're already... Uh, bags I might as well just bring them back and they're just a case of counting them and getting them added to the store so we've got uh, containers there we've got some more Technic brick uh, there's just you know all sorts of stuff in here there's tiles uh, windows uh, some old panels there were lots of um, uh, lerps and burps and uh, things like that in here these uh uh, kind of uh, dishes, radar dishes, some tiles, some arches. So, again, I figured since they're already sorted, 
um, it's going to be much quicker to get through these and and get these uh, listed so uh, that's what I'm going to have a go at doing anyway and uh, see if we can get some of this added to the store um, you know relatively quickly I'm just working through this uh, box of parts that I showed you earlier that I uh, brought back from the container at the weekend. And what I really like about this, and I, and I knew this when I picked it up, was that there were some unusual parts in here that I've not come across uh, before. Um, mostly sort of Bionicle related, I think. So these, uh, I believe, are some sort of um, missile launcher for Bionicle. So they would be mounted to the figure, I guess, and this would be the plunger, which would turn these missile launchers uh, around and set them firing off. And these, uh, the missiles that they would be firing, and again, I've not seen those parts before, nor have I seen uh, these parts, which is some kind of uh, bionicle weapon. Um, so I've got those, and then also these things over here, um, where these are um, some sort of um, air-powered plunger. Um, I don't know what they what they would do, but that would sit in there, and then you would you would press this down, and and this this red one goes for about three pound, two pound seventy, three pound, something like that. Um, so you know some <laughs> nice things to add some variety, I guess, and. Believe it or not, the Bionicle stuff like this, more unusual things, um, do sell. Um, some of the more regular parts are hard to shift, but when you get unusual stuff and you get the masks and things like that, then they sell pretty well. Now, I do look like I've got a, a rocket launcher, a projectile launcher, whatever you want to call it here, that isn't um, complete. It's missing the barrel. Um, it looks like there's a spring here. Uh, and also the the trigger uh, but i don't think these are available on bricklink as separate parts so i don't really think i, I can list those but uh, anyway i'm going to keep working away and see what else i come across so i'm continuing with this uh, tub working my way through it finding some really good stuff actually um you know um nothing sort of earth shattering but you know some reasonable things for instance i found a, a han solo uh, in carbonite uh found the the lerps and burps and things like that you know all of which uh two pound something one pound eighty one pound twenty one pound twenty found these uh gray plates here that were 93 pence each uh, also found uh, seven of these string nets, uh, which are one pound sixty each. So, you know, finding some some good stuff. Um, now I do have a couple more orders to get out. Um, so I need to get these uh, out in the post, and I'll do that when I go and pick my granddaughter up from uh, school shortly. So let's have a quick look at, at what they are. Uh, little parts over here with some enormous uh, sticker sheets from Harry Potter. I mean, they're just enormous. Uh, then we've got uh, a Technic order. Lots of uh, yellow parts, again, from that uh, Technic set that I got a while back. And then we've got a bunch of one by 2 trans tiles going out. And uh, a Luna Love Good going out on eBay as well. So I will get those uh, packed away. And then I'm going to keep uh, working on this box. And I'm not sure whether I'll get it all done uh, today. But I'm already kind of halfway through. So I'm hoping to, you know, keep going. Um, and uh, get, it, get it completely emptied out would be great. And uh, if I manage to do that... Um, in the next day or so I might head back over to the container and see if I can get some more. I've gotten to a point with this file now that I'm going to uh, look to upload it. Um, this has currently got um, 2,869 items, 184 lots for about £350 worth. Um, so uh, it's a mixture of minifig parts, um, some lots of arches, Technic bricks, rock panels, Bionicle stuff, uh, lerps, burps, um, um, 
I mentioned earlier the um, Han Solo in Carbonite. One one cool thing I found was lots of brand new um, uh, string or cord, um, all attached to the cards still. Um, I have to be a little bit careful about how to work out the length of, of them. Um, one of them, there's a white one there, which is worth £6. Um, or at least the last one sold for £6. Um, so quite a bit here. Um, more Bionicle stuff there. Um, 350 for that Bionicle head connector. There are these tiles here from a, a Star Wars set. No one in the UK has them, so I put them on uh, at a bit of a premium. Um, and then a bunch of plates. So um, we'll get these uploaded and uh, we'll see what it does for sales over the coming week. And we'll continue on tomorrow uh, with more uploads. Uh, there's still plenty more to go. Uh, I didn't get the, uh, the box finished off today, uh, but I didn't want to keep the file hanging around anymore. I just wanted to get it uploaded. So um, let's see what it does for us. So I've managed to clear out the uh, tub I was working on and uh, that's meant that we've got another 3,675 parts in 93 lots for about £94 and I've just uploaded them and that's uh, made an increase of another 61 lots. So we're back over the 13,500 uh, lot mark and um we're inching up a little bit to seven hundred and eight thousand two hundred and uh sixteen so um good to get those uh out of the way uh, i've got a few more orders uh just come in uh over uh, the last couple of hours so i'm gonna go and look at getting those picked ready to get them out in the morning it's wednesday morning so let's have a quick look at what is going out today We've got uh, three, six, eight orders going out today. So uh, not an enormous amount, but um, keeps us ticking over. Uh, now this is uh, an order going off to the US, uh, a couple of minifigs, a uh, Buzz Lightyear and a Finn. And then we've got a small parts order there. 75 of these one by four yellow bricks going out. Uh, lots of white parts, a few Technic pieces. Uh, this is an order for uh, a new uh, a new buyer for me on, on Brick Owl. And they told me they're returning to Lego after 40 plus years, uh, which is just uh, incredible. Um, now, I'm not sure if I'm going to get this out because they did ask me about some uh, bulk filler brick. Uh, and I'm just trying to help them out a little bit with that. So uh, we'll, we'll see how we get on there. Then we've got some Harry Potter stuff going out. We've got a Cho Chang uh, minifigure. And then we've got uh, some of these um, uh, blue glitter, uh, the hair, the Patronus. And then we've got the otters and some owls as well. And then we've got a little order of Bionicle related things. And it shows you how listing things can trigger orders. You know, I had... Just this one, one of each of these were listed recently um, from that tub and um, they've triggered this sale to Australia. Um, not a huge amount of money, but you know, it's uh, moving parts out the door. Now, interestingly with Australia, um, Bricklink are now uh, charging the tax up front, the GST. Uh, which means it's now like many of the European countries where um, you need to make sure you're attaching your customs document to the outside uh, to make it clear that the um, the GST is already being paid. Uh, and then on eBay, we've got a little group figure going out. So I'm going to get those packed up, get them off to the post office and uh, we'll figure out what we're going to do next um the tub that i brought back from the container is empty but there was another bag of parts that i brought across that i haven't shown you uh, that i need to sort out so first job for this morning is to sort through this bag this is a bag uh that i came across uh, when i was at the container last uh, i had seen it previously and just ignored it um if i'm honest and basically it's a whole bunch of new parts um in yellow uh, everything in here pretty much 
is uh, yellow. Um, all bags of different uh, elements and a bag with them all uh, mixed together. So I just need to resort these and uh, get them counted and added to the store. So yesterday, one of the jobs was uh, sorting out that uh, uh, bag of new uh, yellow parts and a few other things. Ended up with uh, just over 2,000 parts in 30-something uh, lots. And then I started to, to work on a bunch of uh, axles. Already put most of them away. Got the last few uh, pots to uh, count here. Um, but what's interesting is... You know, even when you're sorting these mundane kind of um, uh, parts, you can find some things that have good value. Um, here, for instance, we've got a 16 long axle in white, which is worth about £3.50. Um, so £3.50, you might think, isn't enormous, but in terms of axles, um, you know, that's a, a, a good uh, price. So... Um, I'm going to continue adding these and get these uh, probably uploaded. Um, we've got, we've only got 158 so far, but I've still got lots of these uh, to count. Uh, and then I'm not sure what I'm going to do, whether I'm going to go to the container or I might do some mini fig parts after this, um, just for a little bit of a change. I'm expecting uh, some sets uh, coming tomorrow, uh, which um not sure whether i'm gonna fully part out or just list the figures on on ebay that kind of thing but we'll see when they get here uh tomorrow and um uh i just want to leave some time available tomorrow to do to do that so um i'll see what jobs i can get done today um that are not gonna you know rely on having lots of time available tomorrow so I've been continuing on with the sort of um, these connectors in various types, various Technic connectors, etc. And uh, next job is to get through this bag of pins, uh, which I'm not particularly looking forward to, uh, if I'm honest. Um, and there's not a lot of great value in them either, but it's all about, you know, adding variety uh, to the store. Um, a lot of these... I don't think I have as as used necessarily. I have a lot of them as as new, um, but definitely not everything um, here is is in the store. So uh, I just want to get rid of the bag, if I'm honest. Um, it's another bag that is uh, filling up uh, one of the tubs here, uh, which I'm con continuing to work through, and that'll be two tubs that I've emptied uh, this uh, this uh, last few days. And so I'm going to crack on and uh, see if I can get these done. And of course, it'll add uh, quantities to the store as well, although not necessarily value. So I'm still sorting through pins, which is a pretty tedious job. I've got to be honest with you. Um, I've got lots of pots around the desk here of uh, various pins in all shapes, sizes, colours, etc. And uh, I've got to be honest, my my shoulders are, are aching a little bit from uh, just the the tedious sorting of uh, of these. And uh, so I thought I'd just take a quick break and show you today's orders and uh, get these ready to go out in the post. Um, fairly quiet day, really. Uh, about seven orders in total, so quite slow, uh, to be honest. Um, on Bricklink, we've got this uh, Junior's instruction book and a couple of parts. Uh, we've got some parts sold in uh, in bulk, these kind of uh, two-by bricks with the curved slope on the front. Uh, we've sold 400 and something of those, 200 and something of that one, and then there's a bunch of other parts in there as well. Um, some more greenery going out. This is the last couple of days. We've had people buying a, a little bit of uh, greenery, uh, building up those uh, scenic elements for the mocks, no doubt. Uh, we've got uh, some tan and dark tan rather, and various other parts. We've got one of the uh, poly bags going out here. Uh, we've got an old uh, Coast Guard 
uh, patrolman minifigure going out there with a couple of parts and then on eBay we've got a Harry Potter gold uh, minifigure 20 year anniversary uh, figure going out for $8.95 so I'm going to get these packed up and uh, I guess I'll get back to the pins once I've uh, got these ready to go at the post office Friday morning and it continues to be a little bit slow to be honest um, so we've got um, a range of uh, fairly modest orders, uh, little parts orders, some windows there. We've got a Landor Calrissian head. We've got a Harry Potter grip hook minifigure and a couple of um, cable cable balls. I've not seen them before, um, I don't think. Uh, 250 of these one by one uh, studs, which are just added over the last week. We've got a Batman poly bag and a few other bits going out. So just gonna get those packed up and off to the post office. So the latest batch uh, on uh, this brick store file is ready to go up. Um, this is one I've had open for probably a, a couple of days, uh, to be honest. And I worked through all of the pins uh, and axles over the last couple of days. And um, the pins were a bit of a pain to sort took a, an hour or two to sort through them all to be quite honest with you um but you know they're good to have there and uh, they're building quantity and uh, we ended up with um close to eight thousand parts for 200 pounds um so you know not an amazing value for that amount of parts but keep in mind uh, most of them are the low value pins which are you know, uh, probably a, a penny or two each. Uh, so I'm going to look at getting these uploaded. Uh, I'm not sure how many lots it's going to add. I'll, I'll feed back once I've uh, figured all of that out and uh, I'll get these uploaded. So just doing a quick uh, recap on uh, what that upload meant. It's added another 70 lots uh, to the store, which has now took us uh, inventory wise back up to 713,000, nearly 714,000 and 13,565 lots. So pleased with that, we're starting to, you know, uh, increase both lots of numbers again, and um, we'll um, continue to, to work getting more things added uh, to the store. Uh, expecting a delivery in the next hour or two of some things that I want to get added uh, to uh, eBay and um, uh, Bricklink as well. And I'll show you what those are when the parcel arrives. Uh, so hopefully that won't be too long. You might remember earlier in the week I made reference to an order that I'd gone in for about £250. And I was waiting for it to be paid. And... Um, this is it, uh, or, or this is the majority of it at, at least. Um, they've actually added some more things on, so there's slightly more here than was originally ordered. So it's around the three hundred pounds mark uh, now, and they've ordered all kinds of things. Um, so we've got uh, lots of poly bags going out. Uh, we've got uh, various parts. Uh, we've got tons of minifigures, uh, new and used. Uh, minifigs going out in there as well we've got some of the tins uh, we've got some posters we've got some other sort of paraphernalia that came uh, with sets lots of printed parts in here etc uh, so this is going off to the states um, I think it's actually a, a buyer in Singapore but for whatever reason they route it through uh, America um but uh always pleased with these they're always great value orders uh from this customer and uh really appreciate the business because um it's uh, really a, a significant order and if i think of some of the other orders they've placed over the last few months you know another for several hundreds another for 500 you know it's it's really about a thousand pounds worth of uh, business from that one uh person so that's uh, really good and uh if you're watching this, thanks very much. Well, my box uh, has arrived, the one I was expecting, and it's a fair old size, um, and uh, we'll see why in a second. Uh, so 
let's get this open and see if everything's okay in here. In. And what we can see is um, these are uh, these uh, seven five three seven two sets, um, which is a really nice uh, set for the figures. Uh, we've got a clone shock trooper, uh, three clone troopers, uh, two different battle droids, and three super battle droids. So a great one for uh, the minifigs. And this is uh, full of them. I'll get them out in a minute, but uh, there should be about 29 of these, 30 uh, or so. And um, they were just under 14 pounds each, which I thought was a great uh, deal. So um, well worth picking up at that price. Uh, so these are going to be hitting eBay and uh, I'll get some on Bricklink as well probably uh, while I've got quantity um, but hoping to move a lot of these on uh, on eBay but uh, we'll see how it goes I'm sure lots of people are picking these up uh, so there'll be lots of competition out there but uh, hopefully, hopefully we can have a bit of success with them. So there we go 29 of these and uh you know really pleased with this purchase uh everything is in good condition uh no dented boxes um really well packaged um there was maybe one or two um that had a problem but they're not a problem to me because i'm going to be parting the figures out but if anyone was wanting to uh resell them then uh, they'd have definitely been fine for uh resale so uh really pleased i'll be looking out for more good deals like this and uh Hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll see a few more uh, coming in this way before too long. Saturday morning, and I've got a few things going out this morning. Uh, just that came in uh, through the day yesterday. I thought I'd get them out. Um, uh, small order here with uh, uh, one of the um, loafs that was in the uh, box that I sorted this week. And then the rest are just uh, basic parts orders. We've got a bunch of these red uh, large figure hands going out. And then we've got the first two uh, figures going out from the uh, sets that I bought. One of them is the Clone Shock uh, Guard, which was 8 95 and another was uh, a Clone Trooper with a rifle, which was 6 95 So um, nice to see those starting to move so quickly, uh, albeit uh, just one or two of them. So uh, I'll get this lot packed up and that's, gonna do us uh, for this week and uh, we'll get back to it on Monday. Mm -hmm. 